Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing this super cute mani. I'm kind of obsessed with the color combination that I picked. I'm gonna use my favorite base coat, which is Anchor and Heart Lacquer's Iron Anchor base coat. Zoe's Jordan, just a really cute soft pink. Mani mask from Maniology. I got this specific one in my Mani by Me box. Fireside from Bundle Monster. They do still have this in their line actually. This is Bam White from Maniology and their smudge free top coat. I am gonna wear this matte, so I'm gonna use the sea glass top coat from Anchor and Heart Lacquer as well. Both plates that I'm using today come from Uber Chic. The first one is their Christmas Companion layering plate and the other is the Jingle All The Way plate. I am using this Scraper that I got as a freebie in one of my orders from them a while back. I'm going to use this Clear Jelly Stamper because it's a little more firm which I think is going to be beneficial for this look. First up I'm going to start off with my base coat. I'm going to apply one coat of this on all of my nails and then I'm going to move on to my base color. The formula on this is much more thin and a lot less opaque than I typically find with Zoya's. So in this case, I did go in with two coats. Had I worn it on its own with my application style at the moment, I probably would have went in with three coats. Uh, but in this case, since I'm stepping over it, it really just doesn't matter. To help with cleanup in the end, I'm gonna apply that Manny Mask from Maniology. This is one that was special edition in my Manny by Me box. There's really not much special about it. It's just blue tinted instead of green tinted. I've used this stuff actually for years. I liked it because it didn't smell really bad like latex does. Now that was before I discovered cuticula, but still, I still think this stuff works great. It doesn't work so well for sponging on color. I would avoid that because it does just melt into the polish, but outside of that, it works really well for its purpose. I'm going to pull out Fireside from Maniology and that Uber Chic Companion Plate and stamp the base color of the mint onto my nails, each one of my nails. I'm not going to do an accent nail this time. This looks so cute on its own, can't lie. But now I'm going to pull out Bam White and I'm going to stamp the outline. And I really like this white outline with the red and the pink base. This is just so cute. This is seriously so cute and something about it just reminds me of Dr. Seuss, which is one of my favorite authors. I was obsessed with him as a kid. I did mess up on my middle finger, so I did later go back and fix that. Here I'm just removing the cuticle barrier, which is so helpful in this situation. I cannot recommend a cuticle barrier, no matter what kind, enough. Here I'm just doing some cleanup. I did do some more cleanup off camera so that I could get closer to my cuticle line. Then after that, I just applied the smudge-free top coat, and then later I went in with the matte top coat. I do think it looks cute glossy, uh, but something about about winter and fall and matte nails I feel like they just go together like peanut butter and jelly I just I just can't get enough of them and this is scented it's an autumn juice which smells like I guess what I would assume that autumn juice would smell like I love this color combination I do have another look in mind that I've already tested and I'm so excited to share with you guys but it's probably gonna have to come after 12 days of polish let me know what you guys think of this manicure and let me know what your favorite color combinations are I'm really digging the something other than black outline right now like the colorful outlines on these manis so you're gonna see more of that in the future I hope you guys are excited anyways enough chatting I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one bye